Well, jail overpopulation has been an issue at the new Vigo County Jail since it was built in 2022. Zach Stidham spoke with the Vigo County Commissioner Mark Clinkenbeard and the Vigo County Sheriff's Chief of Operations Derek Fell about their efforts to get those numbers down. Zach. Yeah, both parties say that this is an issue that is at the top of their priority list. The Vigo County Jail currently houses around 330 to 360 inmates. However, they are having to house about 58 of them outside of the county. The Chief of Operations for the Sheriff's Office, Derek Fell, says multiple community members are trying to solve this issue. It's a collaborative effort with the court system, the prosecutor's office, um, you know, a variety of programs, different organizations, as well as the Sheriff's Office to work together to do what we can um, so we can't keep those numbers down. One of these groups is the Vigo County Commissioners. Commissioner Mark Klinkenbeer says they are currently in the preliminary stages of trying to expand community corrections. Right now that uh, community corrections um, has 130 beds um, and we're looking to expand that possibly with uh, you know another building um, that would have up to uh, 230 beds possibly. Adding that officials are working to get more space inside the jail but also more help to keep people out. And it gets folks out back out there in the community uh, as productive citizens. Uh, the big thing that they do is what's called dual diagnosis. Um, a lot of these people have um, mental health issues and addictions problems. So when they go in there, they you know they, they get them straightened out, they get them on their meds, and and they get them you know clean and sober. Fell says they just want the jail to be as safe as possible for both the inmates and the staff. You know, you're going to have more fights, you're going to have more issues. Um, it, it's just going to be a more stressful, you know, environment for everyone involved, again, staff and those incarcerated. So with, you know, when you can keep the numbers under control, um, it, it, it's a better environment for everyone that's inside the jail, whether you're, whether you're incarcerated or whether you're a staff member. Yeah, Fell adds that it costs about $35 to $38 a day per inmate to house them at both Vermilion and Martin County. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, Zach.